Wait, we are Mario? No, you're Mario, we're Game Explained, and we're here to check out a brand new interactive website just posted by Universal Studios Japan that offers an amazing look at Super Nintendo World. Just look at it! So this is as far as I've made it uh, up to this point, and I thought, you know what, we gotta get, we gotta get everyone in on this because it's just too good to, uh, to keep to myself. So uh, let's go ahead and reset the whole thing real quick because I just love this opening animation where we see the entrance into the land with the war pipe as we take the war pipe Mario Party 2 style into the land itself and it is gorgeous. So yeah, this is basically the best trip we're going to have to Super Nintendo World short of actually going there ourselves and since, you know, there's a pandemic going on, that might be a little while. So let's go ahead and dive in here and see what all is going on and again, I just want to draw your attention to the amazing details here. So this isn't, uh, I should mention, this is a render. This isn't one-to-one -one with the land, but it basically is. The only the only cheats I'm seeing is where is you can see uh, ground where there actually isn't in the land. So for instance, the Koopa shell on the, I can't, I keep bringing up the navigation bar. The Koopa shell on the left here, there's no actual ground it's on in real life because it's floating in air, but you never see that because you're on the ground. So I excuse that, uh, you know, little poetic license. Otherwise, Everything seems to be exactly where it is in real life, and that is impressive, at least based on what I've seen. So let's go ahead and scroll down to start our adventure. So we're gonna scroll down, Mario went away, and wow, look at that! Man, right up to Bowser's castle, race on Mario Kart. I think I will, Bowser, thank you! Let's tap that. This is the, so this is the key ride of this land. Look at that gorgeous artwork. I think we have seen this before, but dang does it look good. You got Rainbow Road in the back, We've got the uh, bone fin on the right, bunch of uh, bunch of you know race or a bunch of go karts, a bunch of Mario karts, along with Mario and Bowser racing independently. So confirming as expected, they'll appear on the ride. The person in the back here is throwing a red shell at a bone fin. This other person is throwing a green shell at who knows what? Maybe more bone fins. Uh, we are in Bowser's castle at the moment, by the way. You can see the giant uh, magma Bowser, and then again we got Rainbow Road in the back. We got yeah, some b bomb or the bomb. Some bullet bills coming in. Never realized that. Both have both have uh, uh, bees in their name, multiple bees. Oh, she's got a blue shell. Watch out for her. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I'm having way too much fun here. Wait, is that a library? What's going on there? Are they coming from like, I don't even know. There's a Kamek back there. There's a lot going on. Anyways, uh, gorgeous image. So let's go, let's go ahead and back out of here. I think that is. Uh, okay, yeah, so this is just, this is the only thing they have for this segment. Making sure there's nothing else. Oh, wait, no. We can scroll down. Oh, my God, we almost left it out going without seeing this whole thing. Oh, look, I didn't realize that they scrolled independently, too. All right, anyways. Race your way to victory. Iconic Mario Kart courses have been brought to life with cutting-edge technology. Challenge enemies with shells, aim for the finish line with Mario and Peach. The world's first interactive Mario Kart theme park ride will leave you with a rush of adrenaline. That's a very specific way of wording it. Um, I guess it's not the first interactive theme park ride. There are there have been many before, or some before, I should say, uh, like Toy Story Midway Mania. But this seems to be taking it to the next level. Uh, we have some details here. It's about a five-minute ride, so pretty decent. Uh, the capacity is four people per car, two rows with two people each, which I like, actually. It's going to be pretty intimate, uh, much more so some, than some some larger uh, ride vehicles, like even um, uh, the Star Wars ride at, uh, at Galaxy's Edge. Uh, height requirement is 122 uh, centimeters at a minimum. Um, or I'm sorry, that is the oh for unaccompanied riders. Accompanied, you can be 92 centimeters. And okay, blah blah blah. All right, that's about it. Uh, to provide the best experience, guests will need an area timed entry ticket or area aimed entry ticket. Advanced booking after Super Nintendo World. Oh, because you got book in advance. Here we get a better look at uh, some parts of the land or um, of the Mario Kart ride, I should say, Bowser's Castle. So the massive stone statue of Bowser at the top of the grand staircase of Bowser's Castle. The inside of Bowser's Castle is a mysterious atmosphere of stone walls, spiked fences, uh, and heavy iron doors. As you walk through Bowser's Castle, you'll find the new Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge ride based on the Mario Kart series of games which continue to be loved uh, around the world. They sure do based on those sales figures. Mario Kart's courses are brought to life through advanced uh, technology and augmented reality, projection mapping, and screen projection combined with a physical set that recreates iconic environments in fantastic detail only at Super Nintendo World. So they are really combining like everything possible in this theme park ride. It is going to be amazing, I think. I can't wait to, to actually check it out. Uh, they're talking about the power-up bands here. Enhance your Mario Kart experience by wearing a power-up band. Uh, let's, let's see. Is that going to take us away from the Mario Kart section? I think it might. Whoa, why hasn't this loaded? There we go. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, so, okay, this is telling us stuff we already know. It's showing off the bands close up, which is nice. We're seeing how it interfaces with the app. All right, we want to go back. We might come back to this later. Ooh, that's a cool looking map. All right, hold on. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's go back to uh, Mario Kart. Come on, give us those Mario Kart deets. I love that art. It's so good. All right, 
here we go. Okay, so based on in-house research of facilities uh, featuring the World of Mario Kart theme park. Wait, based on in-house research of facilities featuring the World of Mario Kart theme park, original attractions, and the games. What is that even referencing? I missed something out there. Who cares? Anyway, so this offers a top-down look of the land where we're always looking at earlier. Um, again, they're taking some liberties with uh, parts showing ground where there isn't in real life. But again, you would never see it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we can see the uh, Bowser's Castle here, which is kind of funny that they made it look as small as it uh, as it is here because in real life there's a massive show building behind here <laughs> they did not cram the racetrack into this tiny area and i don't know why they just didn't you know extend the castle to make uh to you know cover up the show building in this in this render um maybe they just they want to match the rest of the land here because Bowser's castle looks a little wimpy here anyways uh this is a cool view oh we can even scroll scroll around it um so yeah this uh, this is kind of like the map that's in the app, the map app, app map, I suppose. Uh, but it's just more accurate to real life. Like it looks, this looks legit. It's a render, but it looks real. Like again, everything's basically one-to-one. -one, um, minus some like, you know, poetic license. Like, you know, there's no grass outside the land in, <laughs> in real life. All right, anyways, I'm a total theme park nerd. Uh, let's go on a journey with Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi, take us on a journey, buddy. Let's see what's going on here. We've already seen uh, a couple um, early videos of this ride. I, I, you know, showing it off in full, but this is going to offer a little bit more uh, professional look at it, at some of it maybe. Hop on Yoshi for an adorable adventure. Yeah, see if she's pooping an egg. Hang on to Yoshi as you search for uh, Captain Toad on a treasure hunt. Get a spectacular view of the Mushroom Kingdom from Mount Beanpole while having fun that this ride is perfect for the, for the whole family. So I love that they combine multiple things in this ride based on the um, you know, video. We have like Captain Toad, Yoshi's Island, and 3D World with uh, Mount Beanpole. So cool stuff. It's also five minutes long, so about the same length as Mario Kart. Capacity, two people as well. Uh, sorry, four people as well. Two people per row. Um, looks like the high requirements are just a little bit lower than before, which makes sense. This is not a high-speed ride. And yeah. Okay, again, the time to entry. Ooh, there's Captain Toad, got a map. Use Captain's egg, or sorry, use Captain's map to find three mysterious eggs. Take home a souvenir photo of your amazing adventure at uh, Yoshi to Mount Beanpole. All right, cool. So we can see uh, conch doors, we got the desert area, we got Yoshi eggs, the three Yoshi eggs, green, red, and blue. And uh, a little map leading us to uh, maybe where Captain Toad is. Actually, I would assume it's where treasure is. But yeah, cool stuff. So here's our map again. All right, let's continue down. Oh, the whole land is your playground. What pl playground? What's Bowser Jr. got in store for us? We have some ideas. We talked about this before. Uh, yeah, this is where the interactive parts of the land really come into play. So let's scroll down here. The whole land is your play playground. I keep, I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> Explore the world of Mario in real life. Um, and uh, so here we have this fantastic map view of the park. Uh, Super Nintendo World is full of iconic elements straight from the Mushroom Kingdom, and uh, yeah, I, I love that view. It's like just a, can you imagine like just having like this, like actually this looks like a cake almost. I want a cake like this, but yeah, this looks like like a perfect like slice of the Mushroom Kingdom. They could just drop in anywhere, you know. They can't, but that'd be amazing. <laughs> Immerse yourself in interactive play. Uh, collect the keys and infiltrate Bowser Jr.'s lair, and then team up to take them on. Can we zoom in on these pictures? They're so small. Here, I, I'm, I'm zooming in. There we go. Okay, look at that. So we have Bowser Jr. Uh, holding the bomb, a bunch of bullet bills, and other bombs in the background as uh, she's being bombed. Jesus. All right. Uh, so yeah, collect the keys and infiltrate Bowser Jr.'s lair. Then team up with friends to take him on. The world of Nintendo has been brought to life. Punch real life question blocks and note blocks. A power band uh, can be used for additional game experiences. So we saw this in the Mimo video, actually, not from this angle. But yeah, a lot of uh, music blocks here, and note blocks, I should say. There's a Yoshi ride right behind it. Um, and that seems, I think that's a render again, but actually that might be real life. If not, it looks uh, identical to real life. Uh, meet Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad in Mushroom Kingdom. And yeah, cool. All right, let's zoom back out here as we scroll down. Uh, more power bands. Oh, this is actually where we were before. All right, so we're back to where we were. Okay, uh, when we skipped ahead. Uh, so yeah, the power bands uh, help you get uh, go on, enjoy more adventures. Uh, the multi-level Super Nintendo World of the Power Up Band. Uh, with a power band, you can experience key challenges, collect virtual coins and items, and more to bring the experience of playing Super Mario games to the real world. And that's what's really exciting about this. This is Mario in real life. Link Universal Studios Japan official app to see your score, coins, and digital stamps. We already did a tour of the app. I'll link it in the end card. Check that out if you want. Um, we couldn't check out everything, but we don't have a power up band, obviously. 
Uh, so power band, key challenge, uh, help Peach recover the golden mushroom taken by Bowser Jr. So Bowser Jr., this little stinker, has taken the gold mushrooms. We need to get it back. The golden mushroom has been stolen by Bowser Jr. Play interactive games throughout the Super Nintendo World and collect three keys. The final challenge is an exciting boss battle with Bowser Jr. Can you defeat the Mushroom Kingdom's most devious trickster? <laughs> Not only can we, we've done it before, alright? So get ready, Bowser Jr. You're in for a world of hurt. Key challenges. Face Bowser Jr.'s underlings. Underlings collect the keys to infiltrate the lair. So we have uh, the Goomba Crazy Crank. We have the Koopa Troopa Pow or Punch, which we saw Miyamoto play actually. Uh, Prom Plan Nap Mishap. Then the Bomb Kaboom Room, which you also saw in the uh, Miyamoto video, I believe, in the, the Super Nintendo World Direct, I should say. And the Thwomp Panel Panic. Uh, so those are five. I don't know if there's any more beyond that, uh, but those are the five that are consistent with what we saw in the app before. Oh, well, why even bother zooming on the image earlier? This is it again. I guess we saw a little bit more earlier. But yeah, that looks fun. So the idea is, um... Oh, actually, it's just going to tell us. Bowser Jr. Shadow Showdown. After, a, a, after obtaining the keys, which there seem to be five again, team up with friends in the final showdown to defeat Bowser Jr. So we don't know much about this yet. It seems to be some kind of like augmented reality thing, maybe, or at least screen-based thing, but we don't fully know what's going on there. Uh, so that's cool. You have to get the keys to make it to the final like attraction. What a neat idea. It's like mini attractions that lead up to a bigger attraction that you only can do by doing the mini ones. What a neat little concept. Uh, it's a little bit like, I guess, uh, they, they have that thing similar at Epcot with, like, the World Showcase uh, tours with, um, oh, God, I don't even know those new Disney characters now. <laughs> with Eb... I forget. The ne no, I, don't know. I forget their names. Anyways, but this what's cool about this is it does lead up to, like, a greater hole. Uh, so, yeah, you can meet up with the Mushroom, you know, the Mario guys. <laughs> Mario guys and Mario Brothers <laughs> and Peach and Toad. Uh, yeah, meet them talking Mario, Luigi, and Peach only at Super Nintendo World. Plus, come face to face with a cute and cheerful Toad. The cho Toad is not a talking character, apparently. Don't miss opportunity to have your photograph taken with them. Wear your power band for even more fun. Uh, Mario and Luigi photo opportunity. Um, okay, and then, yeah, Peach as well. All right, let's check out the food and restaurants. Man, there's so much in this website. Amazing. I love this website. All right, Canopio's Cafe. So it's uh, right below Bowser's Castle, um, nestled in his little corner by the staircase. So I don't know why uh, Toad, which is, you know, Canopio in Japan, why he opened up shop right next to Bowser's Castle, but whatever. You know, maybe there's good business there. I don't judge. Toad House has been transformed into a restaurant. I do love that idea, by the way. How it looks like you're entering a Toad House, but it's actually like a giant restaurant inside, which can never actually fit inside a Toad House. Indulge in fun gourmet dishes crafted by Chef Toad. Enjoy beautiful views of Mushroom Kingdom from the windows. These are virtual windows, by the way, so it's a neat idea. It's something the same thing they've done at uh, Disney's um, Trader Sam's, an amazing restaurant in Disneyland and Disney World. So let's scroll down and check out some of this food. We have a Mario's Bacon Cheeseburger, which uh, comes with a Mario hat-shaped pick and is yours home to take, which is awesome. We have the Super Mushroom Pizza Bowl with mushroom tomato sauce, which looks oh, just so good, even though it's you know, been decapitated, or like, it's, are you eating its brain at that point? I don't even know. Uh, we have a, a prawn plant uh, caprice, I believe. Uh, that looks fantastic. We had this amazing question block dessert. Oh, look at this. We, so we saw most of this in the direct, but it just still looks so good. We get the pissed off popcorn, which me and was walking around with, uh, with Mario winking uh, in hover car form, hover cart form, I should say, with a colorful uh, neck um, you know, uh, strap. Uh, Mario Kart popcorn bucket, play with a full throttle Mario popcorn bucket with flashing tires. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Superstar popcorn bucket. So this is the one we saw in the Miyamoto video, and we this is the first time, I think. We may have saw this elsewhere, but not in the direct, I don't believe. Uh, the Superstar popcorn bucket, which where you can sprinkle with invincibility. You're unbeatable. This is adorable. Superstar that lights up. Then we have, here's some new stuff. We have not seen these before. Yoshi's Snack Island. This shop specializes in treats for the road. Don't forget, stop after your journey on Yoshi's back. So here we have this green shell calzone filled with uh, yak yakisoba and cheese, which... Wow, like, are you just breaking open a Koopa Troopa and, like, eating its innards? But, hey, you know what? Um, that looks pretty good. So I'm not going to lie. Um, then we have uh, Yoshi's Lassie, I believe. Uh, Yoshi's La Lassie. Lassie. Enjoy a yogurt Enjoy a yogurt made of the Yoshi's favorite fruits and topped with whipped cream. Pick either cantaloupe or mango. So that looks yummy. All right. And are those shy guys? No, that's an egg on the side of it. Like, that was a shy guy first. But, nope, that's definitely an egg. Shy guy mask, I should say. All right, we get the same map as I earlier. All right, um, we saw that before on a, I, I think in the direct or somewhere else before. And yeah, all right, let's scroll down. Uh, merchandise and shops. Cool, let's see what else is in store <laughs> for us. Whoa, all right. Uh, they are decked out in the Mario and Luigi gear. Love the background. 
Scrolling down, the merchandise and shops. Check out the Star Star the Super Mario merchandise exclusive to Universal Studios Japan. Uh, browse a complete line of souvenirs and wearable merchandise to enhance your experience of Super Nintendo World. You are Mario in this game world brought to life. Check out the fun souvenirs. All right, so here we go. We have this uh, cute plush hat, uh, glasses. You know what? I, I kind of love that. Like, I would never thought, never thought this would be a thing, but sure. I guess Mario doesn't wear glasses, but whatever. Uh, gloves, of course. T-shirts. Oh, that's pretty great. That's a good T-shirt. Um, cushions, yeah, I'm gonna have to get some of these. These are also basically at the Super Nintendo World Store. Um, plush toys, you know, Mario, Yoshi, all right, so, and the plush hat again, cool. We also have the power-up bands, once again, they're really pushing those. And, all right, I think, well, we're nearly done here. Let's go do about. Is there anything else left for us to uncover? Whoa, I love that art too. Wow, this is, this is a neat viewpoint. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the first trailer, but uh, this is definitely a different angle with a lot more going on. Um, yeah, I don't think we've ever quite seen this viewpoint before. So we have Bowser in his castle. We've got some, some of the Koopalings here. Uh, look, at, look at Luigi. Is he basically flying around? Not quite sure how that works, but he doesn't have the glider out. So I don't know if I... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. We have people jumping out of no blocks to meet Mario at the, uh, on the flagpole. I love how Mario looks here, by the way. Uh, here's Peach's castle. It looks very grand in this image. I think that's a slight elaboration. I don't think it looks quite that elaborate in real life. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, uh, but uh, this all looks, I don't know, a little bit fancier than I think. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it actually does look uh, that good. I, you know, actually, I ha we haven't really seen it from that angle before, so it it might. Um, there's Peach's gazebo. Uh, yeah, we have a chain chomp over here. We have, um, I don't know what, I forget what's quite down here, or I don't even know if we. Yeah, I, th I think it was in some of the lakes. I don't fully remember. Um, we can see some of the Yoshi ride as it goes its way into the building, which I think this might be... Fa I think they're facing the wrong way. I think they actually go that way, but for the purposes of this image, I think they reversed it. Um, we have the 1UP Factory, which is a merchandise store right there. So you can see you have to go underneath the bridge to get to it. Um, oh, there's actually two entrances, and so you don't. There's one before, that's right, there's one before and after the bridge. So uh, one might be an entrance, one an exit, perhaps, especially in COVID times. We wouldn't be surprised if they designed that way. Well, we can see Mario's motors down there, right by Bowser's Castle. Anyways, this is all stuff we've mostly seen before. Um, we got, are there people like riding around in the cloud, like a two style? There's Bowser Jr., which is hang he's hanging out in the right above the area where you'll fight him in. It's right around this area, I believe. And yeah, I'm not seeing anything too much else worth pointing out. I mean, there's so many details here. I could be here forever talking about things, but I don't think either of us want that. Uh, here's like a little one of the interactive spots here. Actually, most of the interactive spots are like over in this area, it seems. Um, you know, what you'll do to fight Bowser Jr. All right, let's go ahead and continue on down. Uh, we are Mario, unleash your passion to play, team up with friends, battle your rivals, and, pow and power up, we are born to play. So yeah, the hashtag makes sense. The whole idea is like, you know, you're not just here with Mario, you're actually acting basically as Mario. Like, you are part of the game, and that's really fun. Immerse yourself with thrills, the whole world can enjoy it. Super Nintendo World, let, let loose in this incredible land to play. Join the We Are Mario movement, let's go. Wow, it's a movement now, huh? All right, and I think these are all, these are all things we've seen before. Yeah, these are all old trailers. Wow, that, that goes way back, all right. Um, yeah, I think, whoa, actually, hold on. This, is this new? Or no, is this old? I don't even know, but we're watching it. Go full screen. There we go. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'll watch anything I can get. So yeah, you can see how close the render was, but that was like real life. The world's first interactive Mario Kart theme park. <laughs> again, that's so specific. Koopa Challenge. Oh yeah, we get some nice little visuals of this. Which again, we saw a little bit of in the direct. Yeah. Unleash your passion to play. We are Mario. You know what? I I will be Mario for this. So yeah, let's um before we wrap it up though, I want to head back up here. Let's just make sure there's nothing else we missed. First, yeah, go on journey. The restaurant movie. Yeah, we checked all that. Let's go to the top though. I want to see this cool animation one more time. Dude, this animation was so okay. Wait, okay, we did did it about take us anywhere? Okay, no, we've been here before. All right. Uh, I want to see that. I want to see the entrance into the Mario Kart ride, Bowser's Castle, one more time. God, this looks so amazing. Look at all this. There's no theme park land that has this much going on outside. This is wild. This is beyond like my wildest dreams in terms of like just kinetic energy. All right. Take us to Bowser's. Yes. Look at the. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Can we go back? Will it take us back? 
Is there no backwards animation, I don't think. Oh, there's a Koopa Troopa walking around up there. Is he standing guard? Oh, wait. Can you click that? No, it resets. Yeah, okay. All right, everyone. So I think we're about done here. Should I buy tickets? <laughs> I'm tempted. All right. All right, no, go back. Go back. Why can't I go back? I want to go back to the page I was just on. There we go. All right, everyone. That's it. That's our a surprisingly long tour of Super Nintendo World. God, this land, this website's amazing. This land looks amazing. Wish I could go. Darn you, pandemic. But as soon as I can, you better, you can count on us being there. Like the moment, like, international travel is allowed, allowed again and is safe again, I'm going to be there, uh, you know, effectively day one. <laughs> the, the most legal form of day one. Anyways, with that, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tour. I'll link to it in the description below if you want to check out the website for yourself. And of course, stay tuned to Game of Spain for tons more on Super Nintendo World and everything else Nintendo as well. We'll catch you later. Bye, everyone.